So I was born in Saudi Arabia, I lived there for 16 years. I came to the UK in 2015, my mum was a bit ill, so that's why we came over. And I did my A-levels in Nottingham, and then I came to Leeds to do my degree. So my mum passed away three months after I arrived in the UK around Christmas time. My relationship with my dad was already very strained. I never really knew him growing up. We, we lived in the same house, but I didn't really have that relationship with him. I was sleeping in the living room of my brother's house with his flatmate. He was in his final year of his degree. I was always really proud of him growing up, and so that was kind of making me want to apply. When I talked to my personal tutor at college, she said you should really consider looking at bursaries or scholarships. And she actually rang the University of Leeds whilst I was sat down next to her saying, hi, I have Megan on the phone. She's very interested in your university, but she doesn't know what scholarships you have on offer. And so they got to walk me through how I could apply and actually described what estrangement was, which I didn't actually know the definition of. And so when they found out that that was my situation, they said, oh, you should really consider applying to the Means Tested Scholarship. And so I did. I remember opening my email and it said, oh, congratulations, you've been given the Means Tested Scholarship. And I remember just thinking, whoa, that's crazy. And I remember telling my brother when I got home and he said, oh, do you want to get pizza as a celebration? <laughs> and I thought, yeah let's get some pizza, and that was our way to celebrate. It, it was a nice day. <laughs> I remember my brother helping me move in, and at the same time I was meeting my new flatmates, and when he left and we said bye, I saw my flatmates' parents come in with like all the shopping and like all the support and said, well, we'll be here in a few weeks to visit you or we'll be here at Christmas. And I was just thinking, oh, I, I, I won't have that. And I, and I started to miss my, my mum a lot and thinking, oh, should I be estranged? And I was just really considering stuff. <laughs> but I thought, no, I've been given a scholarship. And so I remember coming into university on day one thinking, I wanna get the most out of this university experience and I wanna try and take as many opportunities as, as I can. So I've taken a lot of opportunities at Leeds. I think a lot of people have said I've taken like a list. My first year, I was the course rep for my degree. I did an internship at a local charity called Into University. I've been part of loads of different societies. A research scholarship through the Laidlaw Foundation. I did another research uh, internship called QSTEP. And it's just allowed me to actually just afford things. So it's just made my university life a lot more comfortable and a lot more, like I can access things that other students can. It's a weird feeling because my graduation's gonna be a bit different to everyone else's. I keep thinking I want my mum there, <laughs> but she won't be there. Even though my graduation's not gonna be possibly the same as the average student, I'm still gonna have about a ton of people around me who are gonna be supporting me. The scholarship has really meant a lot to me. I've kept thinking, I'm getting this money because someone wants me to be here and someone wants me to access all those opportunities. Because hopefully when I'm an alumni and when I become successful in whatever capacity, I will hopefully be able to donate a scholarship myself. And so I feel like if you want to continue that circle, you should give whatever support you can to a student now and hopefully they can continue that cycle for you. Please get behind more students like me.